little bit about our runners while we get things going here. Uh, Imants on the left is our number one seed. He's running on sheep. He uh, is good at CAD. That's one of his fun facts. And he loves Chromebooks. That's his other fun fact. So when you guys don't when you guys don't submit fun facts, I just kind of make them up. And <laughs> Ex Machina on the right. Well, I'll let you read his fun facts, uh, Tom, because I'm going to get this next match up and running. He's got some pretty cool history here. Wow, uh, bachelor's engineering, mechatronics, and industrial engineering. That's very impressive. Uh, master's in engineering, automation, and robotics. Hey, you've, you've been in school a long time. Amateur rally driver can drift front-wheel drive cars. And if my co-driver mistakenly says flat left instead of right, I'm turning left. Yeah, we got to listen to your uh, to your spotter. You know, that's a it's a good tip. <laughs> Just don't drive off the road. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you make sure you, he can hold up his his hands and get the L and R right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like Sega Rally Championship. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, guys. I think we're ready. I think I think these guys are ready. I think you and I are ready. Here we yep. go. This first CAD battle in our Elite Eight between Imats and Ex Machina on shape versus a Libre. Begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? So our runners are trying to figure out what the mass of this part is. They're going to be opening this part in their CAD. Let's flip over to this CAD versus CAD layout here. Here we see on the left, we've got Imants, and on the right, we've got X Machina. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? If anybody in the chat didn't have a chance to grab the screen capture, go back. You can rewind the video. You can grab the screen capture. But now, both of these runners are facing the challenge of where do I start this model? What's my starting sketch plane? What's my starting profile? We see Imants on the left using on shape we see ex machina on the right using a libre and we see that both of these experts have started with the same profile how cool is that yeah it looks like uh ex machina was ahead for a little bit but uh Amon's caught right up and uh, at the same spot right now and of course Amon's using on shape which is a browser-based cad system so you'll notice that he's using a web browser he's got a url up top he's doing everything in the web browser and we see that ex machina is using a libre very, very impressive. I love the way the Libre user interface looks. I just think it looks so crisp, so clean. I like the use of the yellow and blue for the Libre icons. So very, very cool to see these two CAD systems. They really do seem to be neck and neck. They both have created that first extrusion, uh, and they are now moving on to the next part of the design. Yeah, and they both started uh, with the same major feature, um, which is, I guess, a good starting point for something like this. Uh, but then, you know, the biggest part you draw first and get out of the way and then you worry about what's hanging off the, the sides of it. And weekday Wednesday, make weekday Wednesday, making an observation here. Uh, I almost said his username wrong. It's weekday Wednesday, weekend Wednesday. We says it looks like they each put the origin at a different, lo different place. I wonder how that will play out later. That's a good observation. Uh, for a part like this, it's a, I mean, they're, they're, from the top view, the origin was in the same place. That shouldn't hurt too much. And it looks like we got a little controversy in the chat here. Tayfun saying a Libre needs proper slot tool pisses me off sometimes. Wow. Oh. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Tell how you really feel. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> So we see that it looks like uh, Imants decided to start out with that very first slot feature on the front plane, but then decided to kind of make that extra circular boss up in the upper right, where Ex Machina decided to create a sketch that encapsulates both that circular profile and that upper region kind of all at the same time. So we're going to see how each of these strategies plays out. Uh, I got a feeling I know where Ex Machina is going with his. Imants is going to be a little more interesting how he uh, patches up that upper section. Yeah, I don't have the drawing in front of me, but if it's one of those things where the, the center of that thing is not really defined until it's, uh, you know, it's defined by angles and so forth, you may not know where to put it. But. Yeah, some of those models have that. And new, new this season on both practice models and in the tournament, we have a tier ranking system for difficulty. And when there's like a geometric trigonometry that's required... Uh, in order to figure out the location of features, that will often bump up the tier level by, you know, by one level. 
So this this drawing, I believe, is a tier four, tier three, tier four. Let's see if we can't show the drawing real quick here without missing too much of the action. So it looks like this one is a tier five. Yo. Oh. Okay, a little bit more difficult drawings this 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 week. Now that we're in the Elite Eight, we're gonna see some more difficult drawings. You had a few drafted faces and pump up that tier. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's where we're gonna end up, I'm sure. You know, we're gonna get to tier six, tier seven. It's gonna be tough to get all of the uh, all of the d required dimensions on the print. But here we see Amant on the left uh, coming through and kind of cleaning up that upper tombstone area. I was wondering what he was going to do there, and I, and I see that he's just decided to do it with a simple extrusion straight down. Very elegant solution. I think that's the way to go there for that one. Uh, well done. Well done to Amant on that feature. And it looks uh, like, X believe it or not, X Machina has a lot, of, a lot of sketches going on. Yeah, it's kind of cool how um, in a Libre in the lower right there, there's actually a legend that explains to you what those different colors mean. So you have oh, like yeah, your yeah. overdefined, underdefined, yep. And I think that we're gonna we we're gonna see uh, Imant is going through here, kind of trying to clean this thing up. Needed to adjust that hole so it didn't go through all at the bottom. But I think we might end up seeing an answer coming in here pretty soon from Imant. So we're gonna keep an eye out for this one. See what he comes in with. Eric says, I already got it. Wow, Eric is speedy. Hmm. And Imant coming in with an answer, 63.137. And that is correct. So well done. Well done. Congratulations to Imant. That's going to earn him the first point. He's going to take down first blood. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations to both of our runners. Ex Machina was really plowing through that one. Uh, Imanz was able to just kind of pull ahead. I think Ex Machina got a little bit, a little bit uh, tied up on that upper kind of angled section. Totally understandable. It is a tier five part, but uh, well done to both of our runners. Let's put a GG in the chat for both of our runners. Very nicely done. GG to the winner. GG to both of our runners. That was neat to watch. That, that tombstone part was definitely the tricky part of that.